Dirty Rock Yonder here. Hi, Dirty Rock Yonder. Bonjour, je m'appelle Dirty Rock Yonder. There's your one. All right, I've been out hounding for a little bit and getting a little bit silly by, uh, by this time of day, but I got one more stop. One of my favorites, 537 Wanapate. So we're heading to the 537 Rock Cut right now and seeing what we can find today. Love this place. And uh, I'd say let's go get dirty, but I'm already there. All right, for uh, those of you who have seen my 537 uh, uh, first episode, the one where I found the beautiful Epidote crystals, um, this is an enormous cut. And I am just going to uh, start making my way down. So I am scan through the bug debris here on the windshield. I'm right at the highway entrance right now. And I'm going to start on the right side, which I really haven't concentrated on too much. And uh, just go down and start exploring um, some of the minerals that are available here. So I'll let you know what this ends like. So far the same as the uh, other end. we got some beautiful epidote. Uh, mixed in with some quartz Here's a little beauty. I'm gonna bring home for uh, my rock garden. I've got a little epidote section and it's got a couple Really nice calcopyrites in there. I think I'll clean those up and Get them into the purple and blue stages Here's a nice chunk I found here and I'm not sure what it is Whether it's just silver mica in here or not, but there's a plug of something right there and I'm going to crack this thing open and just see what, uh, what that is inside. I'm not too worried about saving the rest of the specimen here. So I'm just going to give it some big wax with, uh, with this big uh, three pound mallet here. All right, we've got our split open here and uh, we have some really nice quartz and feldspar mixed in here it's a beautiful color better make sure you can see what i'm doing as i uh as i'm talking here so yeah really really nice uh quartz with uh, a feldspar giving it this beautiful yellow color here and here is this material over here i am not sure what this is at all it's uh it's a solid piece as opposed to mica. So it looks like there's a fair bit of it in here. There's another little section back here at the back. Another little bit here. I might bring this home and uh, just be a little bit more careful. Break and open the rest of it. Or try to be anyways. Whenever you're dealing with quartz, you never know which way you're going to break. But uh, yeah, this interesting little... Interesting little stuff so far. This is the material I was struggling with identifying up on the cliff. Um, originally, I thought I had found some pyrite. Uh, the first piece was fairly cubical, uh, but it was so silver that as soon as I got it close, I was really, uh, really doubting that it was a pyrite. Um, this piece here of epidote, um, you can see that it is uh, not uh, cubical at all. Um, so I thought initially I'd found maybe some Galena, um, but I, uh, began to doubt that once I got home and looked at it, uh, looked at it even closer. It is a semiconductor. It only has a resistance of, uh, anywhere from about 0.7 to one and a half ohms. So it does conduct electricity, um, which kind of leads me back to the pyrite again, um, if anyone has any more information about what causes that silver color in the pyrite, I'd love to know. Um, so far online, I'm just seeing that pyrite can be silver colored. So yeah, let me know if you, uh, if you have any good ideas on that. All right, I found a fairly shady spot up here and uh, it looks like there's some of that uh, pink material that uh, was down in um, 
in the Walmart parking lot. And it looks, now that I can get a lot closer to it, it looks a lot like a, a, just a very pink feldspar. So I think that's what it is. And hopefully it don't get you too dizzy swinging you there. All right. Um, here's a, a piece that, let me slow down here. I'll get some better pictures later. Um, you can see the, uh, the feldspar formations there in the material. It's not quite as pink there but um, definitely forming the feldspar type crystals. And there's some of that pink stuff right there. Focus in on that one a little bit. So starting to get into sunset here at the 537. Looks there over there. Looks like someone's chipped these off. Showing us the material inside, that's what the cliff face looks like in a lot of places, old and weathered. Beautiful on the inside though. Love the 537, it never disappoints. Epidote as always was the big one. Um, some beautiful big crystals here. Those two chunks that I have are, uh, are quite big. I was quite impressed with those. Some of the biggest I found uh, and solid Epidote, not just coated. So that, that was awesome. Um, the, uh, the pyrite was really cool. I really enjoyed finding that silver pyrite. I'm pretty sure that's what that is. And, um, getting the, uh, the feldspar and the epidote, that, uh, euconite formation, that's always pretty cool too. As always, thanks for joining me today, exploring another awesome rock counting location, the good old 537. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the Dirty Rock Hounder. I hope you get the chance to get out there and get dirty soon.